find the missing value to make the table represent a linear equation. So let's see this table right over here. So when x is equal to 1, y is 3 halves. When x is 2, y is equal to 3. So let's see what happened. When x increased by 1, so when x increased by 1, what did y do? Well, it looks like y increased by 3 and a half is the same thing as 1 and a half. So to go from 1 and a half to 3, it increased by 1 and a half. Or you could say it increased by 3 halves. You could say that 3 is the same thing as 6 halves. 6 halves minus 3 halves is another 3 halves. All right, now when we go from 2 to 3, we're increasing by 1 again in, the, in x. And what are we doing in y? So we're going from 3, which is the same thing as 6 halves, to 9 halves. So once again, we are increasing by 3 halves. So in order for this to be a linear equation or a linear relationship, every time we increase by 1 in the x direction, we need to increase by 3 halves. If we increase by 2, we need to increase by 2 times 3 halves. So what are we doing over here on this fourth term on the table? Well, we're increasing. We're going from 3 to 8. So we are increasing by 5. So we're, if we're increasing x by 5, then we need to increase y. We need to increase y by 5 times 3 halves, or 15 over 2. That's the amount that we have to increase. We have to increase y by. If we started at 9 halves, and we're going to increase by 15 halves, so it's going to be 9 halves plus 15 halves. This is how much we increment by. Remember, we increment 3 halves every time x moves 1. This time, x moved 5. So we're incrementing by 15 halves. Or you could say we're incrementing by 3 halves 5 times. But this is going to be equal to 9 plus 15 is 24 over 2, which is equal to 12. And so in the box, we could write 12. And we are done.